Hold on, repeat that. It's stupid. What? Climbing into this car. Well, at the very moment, it's quite difficult. Well, I don't know how you were going to do that. I tried. I did not fit. I am apparently too chubby. It's a little low. Good thing Corey's a little dude. He squished in there. He's a little dude. Yeah. Hey, it worked. Yeah, I was on strapping it, so. Well, yeah, it's pumping right in the car there. It's kind of <laughs> kind of dangerous, actually. Yeah. So now he tells me that. Hey, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. So we are back in Colorado. Cars inside, and now we're gonna have some fun watching Joe get out. Getting in was not exactly the easiest thing. I bet getting out might be easier. Does this thing move at all? No, nope, nope, it does not. Oh, well. <laughs> I could not fit through that window. <laughs> I debated going through the front of the dash to get in there. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> well, it kind of hurts a little bit. That's it's a tough. <laughs> Good thing you're skinny. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. To be fair, we're going to trim a little bit. And I am get halfway there. A couple inches back. <laughs> I, I don't want to put my feet on the seat. Oh, that doesn't matter. This is getting NRG race seats. Ah, oh, got it. <laughs> Corey, this is how you do it, buddy. You are more flexible than me. <laughs> yes. Alrighty, so the first thing that we got to do is we got a few things to rig up a uh, thing to lift this. And what we did is we hooked a winch up over here to a pulley. And that's high enough up, we can lift it pretty high up there. And uh, we've already tested it out with over 500 pounds. And we're gonna figure out how to hook up to this thing and lift the whole body off. Joe for a ride. What uh, what'd you think riding in this thing? Um, yeah, I want real seatbelts. <laughs> you need definitely need something to hold you in a little better. Um, but anyways, we uh, I'm really happy with. Let me back up a little bit. I'm really happy with our new shop ornament. This is just so cool. It's like a chandelier or something. Although I think we need to add a guide wire because I don't like that thing spinning like that. Um, but the system works really well, holds it nice, tight. We just use some rope uh, and works. I, it does pretty good. So we uh, next thing we're gonna do, uh, just to kind of get some work done, Joe decided that it'd be good to go ahead. We were gonna do some other stuff, but we're gonna go ahead and just kind of start tearing some of the stuff out that we know we're not gonna need. Uh, if you need Corvette parts, we got some we're getting rid of. So uh, I guess we'll let Joe get to work and well, I guess I'll help him too. <laughs> <laughs>
tear down, tear down, tear down. Which mess one? Put this back on for now. So okay. So the uh, that's the dash. <laughs> There's no more dash. Uh, we're tearing everything out. You saw us kind of pulling a lot. A lot of these pieces tried very carefully when pulling them out to keep them in good shape. Because, like I said, we'll probably sell some of this stuff. Uh, a lot of people need these parts. And then just test fitting through uh, one of our NRG. This is the SFI seat, so we need to make sure that fits. And it definitely gets down low, and we'll probably be able to uh, put it on the. Whoops, let me see that. They got some brackets we can bolt in, I think. So we'll test that out. Uh, so now we're going to actually go ahead and roll it forward. Let the body back down. We just want to check the height of where the seat is uh, so we can know. And we'll call it a night. Push backwards. There you go. Pull backwards on. Definitely got a lot of Corvette parts here, and uh, we'll probably be putting these up for sale on eBay or something, or looking for them, see if anybody needs them. Everything's in really good shape, and we'll clean everything up, and this will put a few bucks back into the build. So if you need any Corvette stuff, hit us up. Space is definitely at a premium inside here. Uh, wow, we got a, we're not even centered, we gotta scoot over a little bit. So we'll have to center the body. Um, Wow, I just, I'm shocked at how much we're going to have to do for room. Because right now, as the body sits, my I can't fit in here. Um, which we need to... Keep in mind, the back is going to come up. The front is not touching the tires. The back is. Ow. You have a fist, almost, between the tire and the body on the front. What You're resting on the tire on the back. Oh, we are? Yeah. So the back is going to come up a little bit. So there's going to be some positioning we'll have to figure out. I don't even think I can get out of here, to be honest with you. I mean, the fact that I can touch the top with my chin and my head, cool. I'm stuck. Well, I'm heading home. See you tomorrow. Well, we're going to end the video there. I just want to kind of give you an update of what's going on here. Super happy with uh, some of the progress. We just wanted to get some stuff tear down. Uh, we talked a little cage stuff, but I think that we got a got a few things we got to figure out first. But we're getting, we're a lot closer than we were. Uh, so like I said, we're gonna end the video there. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you didn't see the first episode, go check it out. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.